Duster is one of the most elusive bands on the planet. Little is known about the lineup of the band, nor the history. The only thing that has helped this band stand the test of time is their insanely unique music. It's hard to compare Duster's sound to any other band because they're just that original, in the 90s and even now. Naturally, they have a large devoted following of fans, chomping at the bit for material in any way they can get it. With only a handful of records and some EPs, this is simply not enough. So throughout the years, fans have taken it upon themselves to search the dustiest corners of the internet for any trace of unheard Duster songs. Found mostly from various online forums, the band's prehistoric early website, and Clay Parton himself, I have some fan-made records of unreleased Duster material to discuss today. And it should be noted, these compilation records are 100% fan-made. The band had zero involvement in the creative process for any of these projects aside from the music itself. So the cover art, the titles, and track listing are the work of dedicated fans who simply wanted to bring these songs to light. So without further ado, let's dive right into Low Earth Orbit. Also, when did this happen? Holy shit, congrats guys. This is one of the most known compilations of unreleased duster material on the internet. Originally shared by Clay Parton on Stereo Bird, Low Earth Orbit features a wide variety of the band's lo-fi stylings. The opening number, tentatively called Untitled 84, has a nice crunchy riff and some smashing drums that offer a nice punch. The melody reminds me of the Beatles in its simplicity, but all in all, it has a grit that fits perfectly in the Duster catalog. Untitled 80 absolutely kills, easily one of the best unreleased tracks here. Heartbroken riffage with some introspective vocals from Clay that contain a real urgency that's a key element to the band. Production-wise, it's rough and unpolished, but that only adds to the weight of this emotionally pummeling cut. Untitled 58 is a piano number with an instantly memorable chord progression. Clay's vocals are high in the mix, which differs from the normally whispery and inaudible approach offered on their actual records. This track flows so nicely, it's a shame it has yet to see a real release. What Goes On In Your Mind showcases the band's ability to craft such majestic melodies with little effort. This song is natural, tightly played, and the double-tracked vocals that kick in are so good. Again, the Beatles' influence is uncanny with the sugary pop vocal melodies that always hold their own. Delicate Things is more crunchy, garage rock guitar work, layered with more memorable vocals and spastic drums that get you off your seat. Everything is all in place, and the final song, California, are another two major highlights. While the audio cuts out a couple times, which was common for analog recording equipment, that doesn't hurt these tracks. They radiate so much personality and youthful energy, especially on California. You never tire of those punchy riffs and the impressive musicianship that made Duster, Duster. This whole compilation is absolute gold from start to finish, and a definite must listen for any fans of the band, casual or hardcore. For throwaway material, this is some very solid stuff that will make you cry, but also make you feel like a badass that ditches school to smoke a cigarette behind the gym. Truly top tier stuff, even if the band doesn't think so themselves. Low Earth Orbit is a strong and confident A+. Next up, we have Experimental Dust, which, again, is full to the brim of essential duster tracks. It's unfortunate so many of the best moments here don't have any title whatsoever, making them hard to find, but nonetheless, let's dive in. Experimental Dust begins with What You're Doing To Me, which has since seen an official release. I'm not going to talk about this one too much, but it goes without saying, it's a stellar song that cuts deep with its movingly glacial instrumentation, clocking in at over 6 minutes. The untitled track that follows is a major highlight for me. A beautiful bass line with sparse guitar arrangements accompanied by the patiently subtle drumming, along with Clay's sincere vocals that make this one of the band's most straightforwardly romantic sounding songs. Track 3 is an iconic moment with the insanely catchy ambient lead that will get stuck in your head for days. Featured in an old school skate video, this song paints a portrait with its colorful musicianship and instantly hooky resonation. The definition of short but sweet. Untitled 62 and Haunt My Sleep feature the more introspective side of Duster, reminiscent of contemporary movement with their emotional bluntness and soundscape and attitude. I love the vocal effect in Haunt My Sleep, it adds to the downtrodden atmosphere so well. This track also saw an official release. Then there's the immaculate demo of fan favorite Diamond that, in my opinion, has more of a punch than the official version. It's faster and more intense than the studio version with playful energy that makes it so killer. The vocals here are amazing as well. This demo has a more raw approach, but I can see why the band wanted it cleaned up for contemporary movement. 
Test Phase is a super cool interlude that boasts some old school synths that make your mind wander. A Casio keyboard, when used correctly, can create some real magic, and this is a perfect example of that. Cooking No More is dark and brooding with so much flair. I love the guitar work here, it's very clean and deliberate, creating a spiritual affair that gives you goosebumps. Once again, these melodies are undeniable and demonstrate just how tight of a trio these guys truly are. This is, dare I say, top tier duster right here. Nearing the end here, the second to last song begins in reverse with a spacey chill vibe that leads into the closer, I Am The King. This slow burner is led by a melancholic keyboard, dense and spacious, longing for something that is just out of reach. It's so vulnerable and reflective throughout its runtime. The production is a little rough in spots, understandably, but cleaned up, this could easily be one of the biggest underrated gems in Duster's catalog. Overall, I mean, damn. This is another very solid collection of unreleased songs, aside from the two that were eventually released. It's a different sound for Duster, but one that fit them so well. The ambient passages and crushingly beautiful atmospherics, coupled with the tight rhythm section, make this an essential listen. Experimental Dust is right on par with Low Earth Orbit. Highly recommended, highly enjoyable, 10 out of 10, A+. Next up we have Rarities. I wanted to mention this one pretty quickly since it's semi-popular here on YouTube. This is, long story short, some songs from Experimental Dust and Low Earth Orbit thrown together in one. Nothing new here really, just more Duster genius bestowed upon us in a slightly different package. I'd say the major highlights from the previous two compilations are here, so it's interesting for that. But overall, I just thought I'd give this one a very brief mention. Next we have Test Phase Tape 1. This compilation opens up with the entirety of Christmas Dust, an EP the band released at the beginning of their career. I'll talk about only a few of these tracks quickly since most of you likely already know them pretty well. Track 2, which is unofficially called To My Friends, is absolute heaven to listen to. The production is so warm and fuzzed out. It's an amazing and arguably the best song to just chill out to and think about your life. The following two Christmas Dust tracks envelop you in their cozy analog haze. Track 4 is a brief ode to 4-track bedroom introspection, while Dove Song, track 5, is angelic angst and more of that signature duster sound. Understated, lo-fi, and moody is all hell. Track 6, which has been deemed Bon Voyage, features more of the band's melodic edge, sweet and tender with some ethereal guitar riffage and low-key vocals from Clay. Track 7, very well, might just be the best cut here. Those luscious chords, wounded vocals of desperation, and the spacious drums give way to a real gem. The same exact thing can be said for just about every Duster song, but this one in particular hits really hard. Track 10 features such a thick, feel-good riff that immediately gets your attention. How could this go unreleased? It's more of that playful sound the band should have explored just a bit more. Nonetheless, it goes without saying it's a really cool track. There's a couple shorter sections on Test Phase that are mostly unfinished, before bringing us to their Misfits cover of Skulls. This one's been quite known by hardcore Duster fans for a while. What really needs to be said about Skulls? If you want a somewhat wimpy and introverted take on the Misfits, this will more than suffice. It's doused in that Duster magic that is hard to put into words. All of their songs evoke a feeling you can't quite put your finger on as much as you try simply one of those tracks you need to listen to to get the full experience. But that goes for every Duster song, really. Test Phase Tape 1 is more super compelling stuff that makes you remember just how talented Duster is. When their unfinished, throwaway, cutting room floor material is better than 80% of all music, that's really saying something. Absolutely no exaggeration either. While not as interesting as Low Earth Orbit or Experimental Dust, Test Phase Tape 1 is more duster tracks from the cutting room floor that will make for an enjoyable listen. Salad A. Last up we have Grounded, a more recent duster comp that's made some rounds on YouTube. A commenter by the name of Panomaniac laid down some valuable information regarding Grounded. The vast majority of the tracks here are not unreleased duster songs, rather various tracks from related projects such as Valium Agaline, Eophon, and Helvetia. I'll let you take a look at this comment for yourself to get an idea of where these songs actually originate from. Lightning, Not Right, Lost Our Way, August Relativity Demo, and Stars are not Duster tracks, so for now, I won't talk about them. 
Future videos on Helvetia, Eofan, and Valium Agiline will be coming sooner than later. While Cigarettes and Coffee, Untitled 83, Country Heather, and Orbitron have already been covered. This unfortunately leaves us with only one song that, as of making this video, is a previously unheard Duster track. That track is Untitled 73. The quality of this song makes up for this rather disappointing conclusion. Maracas, expressive guitar playing, and tight progressions define this one. It's pretty straightforward for Duster, but ultimately it's beyond solid. That guitar weeps and weeps carried by the steady drums that cascade across this track. This one has some real groove and momentum that is highly engaging and worth a listen. But overall, this compilation isn't really an actual compilation, so I can't give it a rating. But for the music itself, it's a solid A+. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into Duster's unreleased music and the various fan-made compilations on the internet. This was really fun to make, going into the unknown on a hunt to find some of the stuff by the band most haven't heard before. If you want more Duster content, I told the story of their career last year, I'll link the video down below. Anyway, have a great day, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, please take a listen to these Duster comps if you haven't already. A few of them are truly something special. Later.